Right, Jenny, we're going to put a stitch in, in, this, uh, in this wound here, and I'm going to teach you how to do a vertical mattress suture. Have you ever done that before? Um, no, I haven't done a vertical mattress suture before. I've okay. done other bits of suturing, but not this particular type of suturing. All right, well, let me demonstrate it first. We're going to use a 3.0 proline. Yes, 3.0 ethabond. So this is a vertical mattress suture. Okay. Okay, so let me have the suture back again. Geraldine's loaded it up for us, but the first thing we have to do when, when stitching, the first step is to load the needle in the needle holder. So this is loaded, mm -hmm. and I've loaded a particular way, about a third the way along and with a bit of an angle, but loading the needle in the needle holder. That's okay. the first step. Sure. The next step is a deep bite through the full thickness of the skin and subcutaneous tissue. Mm -hmm. Then loading the needle in a reverse fashion, so the same thing but in a backhand fashion. Okay. Then taking a superficial bite just through the skin and subcuticular tissue. Like that. The next stage is to put a, a, a throw, the first stage of the knot, which is mm -hmm. two, two throws around the needle holder mm -hmm. and like that. So we've got a, a double throw in that direction sure. and then a single throw back in the other direction. So there are basically six steps. Okay, so what's, what do I need to do first? So first of all you need to load the needle. Okay. Um, sometimes it comes loaded. But it comes to, loaded, but yeah. I always need to check that it's the way I want. So that's, right. that's loaded. Yep. Okay. So one third of the way down. Yeah. And then a bit of an angle. Yep. And then you take your first bite through deep tissue. That's right. So. On one side. And the other side through deep tissue as well. Okay. And come back and you load it in a reverse fashion. Come back through on the same side to take a superficial bite. Through. So I'll just talk out loud for yes, this. Yes, you and stop me if, yes, I'm, good. <laughs> if I'm doing anything and wrong. You, and you just talk through the six steps. Thank you. Alright, so the needle comes loaded, but I want to load it in the way that I good. need it. Then the next step. So one big bite on this side. Yep. Through. Deep bite on the other side too. Good. Come back and load it. Um, Very good. So you're loading it backhand yeah. now, so. Yeah. Uh, so. You need to just, yeah, get it in. That's one of those tricky things that probably takes a bit of practice. You work yeah. close, that's right. You had yeah. it right almost exactly the first time. Yeah. Coming through, taking a bite on this side, superficially. Yes, you can do that in two, two bits as you're going to do, or you can yeah. do it if it's lined up. And this is why putting the needle on the way you want is important, because you can usually do it in, in one go if you do that. That's right, good. Right, yeah. I noticed that the, yeah, the angle of the um, needle helps if you're going to yeah. take the second bite. Um, okay. Pull that through so you've just got the. And then two throws. That's right. Good. Pull that through. Yes, in the, that's, that's good. That's perfect. Well done. You've thrown that so that the knot going down, going down in the line of the. Yes. This way. Good. Very good. All right. So do you want to have? One more time, without without specifically describing the sets, and I'll if there are any if there are any areas we need to comment on, mm -hmm. I'll get you to.
Excellent. Well done. Now, are you aware of any particular types of wound where that sort of suture might be most relevant? Um, wounds where you think um, there's going to be a bit of tension. Yes, possibly, because you've got two threads. It's like, yeah. it, but also very thick skin and subcutaneous. Right. The scalp is one of those areas where you might consider that because you've got the deep bite that can go all the way through the very thick, thick and subcutaneous tissue, yes. but you can also put a superficial bite which can approximate quite, quite closely. Sure. So both yeah. of those are good reasons, and I think you can do that now. Okay, yeah, thank you. Thanks very all much. Right.